This video is for Year 8 Theatre classes for their first knowledge organiser of the next fortnight. The first thing you have to do when you're starting this is you need to read your knowledge organiser. What you then do is you can go on and watch this video where I'll work through some examples of how to do the questions. You then have to go on and try the questions from the knowledge organiser. The topics that this is on is on fractions to decimals. Now you need to know two key facts around fractions to decimals. The first thing is, is that there are two types of decimals and that the first type is terminating decimals. These decimals can be ones such as 0 0.1, 0 0.12, 0 0.252. These decimals are decimals which end basically, which is why they're called terminating decimals. The other type of decimals that you need to know about are recurring decimals. The most common recurring decimal that you've probably seen is 0 0.33333. This can be written as 0 0.3 recurring. You can also have 0 0.1666. This can be written as 0 0.16 recurring. Notice that the decimal point goes over the recurring number. If there is more than one number which is recurring, for example in the number 0 0.252525, you can put the recurring signs over both of the recurring digits. So there are two different types of two different types of decimals that you're going to use during the course of this video. So writing a fraction as a decimal. The first way you can do this is you could use your calculator and you could just write 3 divided by 8 into your calculator. But for some of the questions, they're going to ask you to use division and to be able to use the bus stop method. To do this, what we do is we put 8 on the outside and we put 3 on the inside. We then fill in zeros. I've put three zeros down, but you can put more or less. All you do is you just end when you stop getting, when you don't get any more remainders. So we say, how many times does eight go into three? It goes in no times, and it's got three remainders. You then say, how many times does eight go into 30? Eight times three is 24, so it goes in three times, and there is six remainders. Now you say how many times does 8 go into 60? 8 goes into 60 7 times because 8 times 7 is 56. So you would say 7 and 4 remainders. And then 8 times 5 is 40, so there are no remainders. So you, if you'd wrote too many zeros on, the, on your number, this is the point where you would stop. And we write out our answer as 0.375. If you'd put that straight into a calculator, you would come out with that answer. The other type of question is going to ask you to use your calculator to convert decimals. Now, you go 2 divided by 3. When you put that into your calculator, your screen will show 0 0.66666, and it goes on forever. This is a recurring decimal. So you put your recurring point over the top of your 6, and it is 0 0.6 recurring. When you do 84 over 222, into your calculator, you put 84 divided by 222. And what comes out is 0 0.378378. To write this as a recurring decimal, what you do is you put 378, because they're your recurring decimals, and you put the point over the top of the first and the last number. Now, when you go on and do your questions, there's one other type of question that you might see, and it says write 4 and 1 sixth as a decimal. So it will ask you to write a, mis a mixed number as a decimal. So what you do is you take the fraction from this, and you would say turn that fraction into a decimal. I say how many times does 6 go into 1? It goes in zero times with one remaining. How many times does six go into ten? Once, with four remaining. How many times does six go into forty? Six times with four remaining because six times six is thirty-six. 
and then you say how many times does 6 go into 40? 6 times. You can see at this point here that the number is going to be recurring. So I can just stop writing there because I know it's, the 6s are going to continue to go on. And how I would write this is 4.16 and I would put my recurring dot over that. Use these examples to help you solve those questions now.